Clyde May's single barrel review. I got a confession, I know absolutely nothing about this brand. I haven't researched it, read about it. I just picked this up at the store the other day because it was a store pick. And it looks like the way they do their store picks is they give you these little tags right here. So, um, I mean, I've seen this before, or this brand, I should say, but um, it was a store pick, so just wanted to grab it. This is a five-year aged single barrel, 102 proof. It says barrel date 2-3-2017. Um, where is this made? I'm not even going to try to pronounce this word. Konku? Konka? Ridge Distillery. What state is that? Doesn't even say. Does it? Oh, Indiana. Bloomington, Indiana. Is this an MGP? I don't know. But, um, yeah, let's get into it. That's about all I know is what I just read to you guys. I always like store picks, though, so, um, I'm going to start doing some live videos to try to get to meet some of you guys, and I will tag you, let you know, um, I would love, love, love to meet you guys and, uh, and actually chat with you. It's fun whenever we people call in and we get to know each other, so we're going to take it live and, uh, try to drink with you guys, so be on the lookout for that, and let's fresh pop this guy. Pretty good. Okay. There's your color. Pretty medium. Medium copper. Swirl it around. I can smell already kind of what's going on in the room here. Ethanol. I don't know if that's good or bad. Legs are very wide and slow running. Yeah, there's on the nose, the immediate thing I get is just ethanol. Need to back away a minute. Okay, when you back away, it smells pretty good. Vanilla. Vanilla raisin. I don't know, maybe there's a couple different notes coming together to smell sort of like a raisin. Definitely ethanol. It's got a little leathery, sort of a, like kind of one of those bitter notes to it. I'm kind of getting leathery, raisin, vanilla. Pretty decent combination. Cheers. Pretty good coating of the tongue. That's why it's slow legs. I'm learning more and more. Good mouthfeel for sure. Let that sink in for a sec. Okay, going back in. Good stuff. Caramel vanilla oak, your holy trinity is coming out. The ethanol is not coming out nearly as much as I thought. I was going to burn my face off, but no. There's like a, the forward uh, front of the mouth is like caramel vanilla sort of oakiness to it. It finishes with like a fruitiness, like an apple. And then it is a tad spicy. Um, but more like a rye spice, but it mellows out really quickly and it's a long lingering finish. This is really, really good. Really good. Is everything from Indiana good in that air in what's produced there so far? Um, yeah, store pick. And by the way, this was, I got the receipt just to 53 bucks. So based on pricing, I've seen 53 bucks for a store pick single barrel. 102 proof seems like a pretty good price. One more sip. Man, this is getting better. 
Um, again, one of these that I just truly, truly, really, really like, but I can tell is missing something. On this one, I don't know if it's just it needs a little bit more bold flavors, maybe aged a few more years. This would be great. Um, let's go. Sorry, I'm a little off my game. It is like swamp ass hot outside. So, uh, let's go 78 out of 100. 78 out of 100, big score, really good stuff. Now, this is a store pick, but check out their single barrel. Really, really good. That's a bourbon review.